Hey guys, this is Robert with Bad Luck Garage, back with another LS Tech video. Alright, if you guys remember, uh, what I've been trying to do is, when I get on Facebook or, you know, different LS websites, what I've been trying to do is uh, find stuff that people keep asking about over and over again, and um, today's a, a pretty good one because I think it's cost a lot of people a lot of money. Uh, today's topic is fuel pressure, okay? Um, this seems to be a weekly thing on, I think it's LS Tech, the Facebook page LS Tech. It seems like just about every week uh, I get somebody on there and they may be having, you know, some kind of starting issues or um, some kind of running issues with their truck or with their LS swap. And the first thing I see is they're like, I've only got like 45 pounds of oil pressure, or oil pressure, I'm sorry, 45 pounds of fuel pressure at idle, or, or you know, I've only got 50 pounds of, of fuel pressure at idle. And what immediately happens is you've got a bunch of internet guys who know nothing about what they're talking about jumping on there and saying, there's your problem. You know, uh, you're supposed to have 58 pounds of pressure at idle. That's not always the case, guys, and I'm about to show you why. All right. So usually what happens is, like I said, somebody gets on the on the forum or on a Facebook page. They're having some kind of issue with their car. Uh, they go to check their their fuel pressure, and uh, you know, with the with the truck or car or whatever whatever you have it or whatever they happen to have, uh, they go to check their fuel pressure with it idling, and they see that their fuel pressure isn't 58 psi. Now the problem gets compounded because a lot of people. Uh, don't understand that there are actually uh, well I was gonna say two but there's actually three different fuel systems uh, in the gen 3 LS engines okay you have the return style system uh, which was what you typically saw on the 99 through I think 04 models and this fuel rail is actually off of a return style okay you'll see it's got you know a, a fuel line and it's got a return line so you got two lines here okay now you've got a what people refer to as a returnless fuel system um, and on it you're only gonna have one fuel line up here okay um, because the pressure is regulated back by the tank okay then you have the third system alright which is also a return style system like this uh, and it looks you know fairly similar to this but uh, it's actually the 04 and earlier model um, uh, what's what I'm looking for <laughs> flex fuel the earlier flex fuel systems okay now the problem happens when like I said someone gets on there and they've checked their fuel pressure and they say my fuel pressure is too low and immediately you've got all these you know internet gurus jumping on here they don't ask them what fuel system they're running they don't ask them what year the engine is. They immediately just jump on there. Oh, yeah, man, you're, you should have 58 PSI at idle. So what happens? The guy who's having the problem thinks he's found the problem. He immediately starts replacing fuel pumps, fuel filters, uh, fuel pressure regulators. He just starts replacing everything, thinking that his, you know, he's not getting the proper fuel pressure. But that's not true, guys. So here's what's going on. On the return style systems like this, you are not going to have 58 PSI at idle. And here's why. It, it has a vacuum referenced fuel pressure regulator. Okay? This actually pulls, you know, when vacuum's pulling on this, it brings your fuel pressure down at idle to around, you know, somewhere. I've seen it as low as, as 42 PSI and as high as, you know, probably around 50 Okay, but you are not going to have 58 pounds of fuel pressure at idle with a return style system. If you do, then you've got a problem. Something's wrong. Okay, your fuel pressure regulator is not doing what it's supposed to be, to be doing or you've got a vacuum leak or something. So, uh, also, if you have a flex fuel, the, the uh, 04 and earlier flex fuel vehicles, they don't even have uh, 58 PSI at full throttle. Okay, so guys, before you start blowing money on parts, you need to realize that you're asking questions on the internet and you're going to get wrong answers. Okay, 
the only fuel system uh, on an LS engine that is going to have 58 pounds of pressure at idle is the returnless style. All right, and this is compensated in your tune. I'm going to show you that in just a minute, okay? But depending on whether you have a return style or a returnless, um, the injector flow rates are, are uh, different in the tune. I'm going to show you that next. But first, let's let's talk a little bit about what this fuel pressure regulator does, okay? What this does is it allows you to flatline your uh, your injector flow rates, okay? Because you're getting a rising rate fuel pressure. At idle, when you've got full vacuum, and, and again, this depends on your cam. If you put a cam in it, um, you're going to have less vacuum, so you're going to have more fuel pressure at idle. I know it sounds counterintuitive, but that's the way it works because the less vacuum that's pulling on this, the higher your fuel pressure is going to go. Okay, so um, the best way I can I can say if you've got a return style system like this, you know where you've got two lines, the way you need to check your fuel pressure at idle is you need to unplug this vacuum line from the regulator, and you know just plug it off with your thumb. Then when you screwed in your pressure gauge over here, um, you should have 58 PSI or close to it. Uh, any, anything between 55 to 60 PSI is within spec uh, on the non the non uh, flex fuel engines, okay? So if you like again, if you want to check your fuel pressure at idle on a return style system and you're wanting to see that 50 uh, you know 55 to 60 PSI, unplug this so there's no vacuum going to this regulator okay and one more time for the fourth time <laughs> you are not with this plugged in with your regulator plugged in on a return style system you are not going to have 58 psi do not start replacing fuel pumps do not start replacing regulators do not listen to anybody who tells you otherwise what i want to do is i want to show you the difference between a tune with a return style fuel system and a tune with a returnless style fuel system what we have on the screen right now this is the injector i'm sorry if i'm moving this around a lot i'm having to use my iphone but this is the injector flow rate versus kpa uh, for a return style fuel system this is this is the data from a 2000 uh, Chevy Silverado and what you're going to notice here is the flow rate for these injectors it's just it's the same flow rate all the way across now the reason that it's the same flow rate all the way across is because the um, the fuel pressure varies by vacuum Okay, that's why you don't have 58 PSI at idle. I'm trying to think of the, the easiest way to explain this, but you know, when you've got more vacuum pulling on an injector, it's going to put out more fuel, if, if that makes sense. Um, so if your fuel rate is a solid 58 PSI, no matter what vacuum is in your manifold, then it's going to cause the injector to, you know, flow more at... Uh, at idle or you know at part throttle than it does at full throttle when there's no vacuum pulling on it okay well in a return style system the fuel pressure regulator compensates for this by lowering your fuel pressure when the vacuum goes up and you know then it raises your fuel pressure as the vacuum goes away so at full throttle you're going to have 58 psi or like I, I just told you a few minutes ago, if you disconnect the vacuum, it's going to go to 58 PSI. That's going to cause problems in your tune because your injector flow rates are flatlined. Okay. Now, if we switch over here, we'll go over here uh, and open my compare file is actually for a 2006. This is actually the... Uh, tuned for Project Steppenwolf. So this is a 2006 six liter that I have put some 8.1 injectors in. And what you're gonna notice here is the flow rate varies according to how much manifold vacuum there is. Okay? Everybody see that? So the more, uh, because on the re this runs a return style or a returnless style system, this system does have 58 pounds of 
of uh, fuel pressure at idle, okay? So it's compensated for in the tune here by telling it that, you know, when there's less vacuum, uh, it's essentially treating it like a uh, smaller injector. When there's more vacuum, as you can see, as the vacuum level goes up, it, it you know, the tune treats it as a larger injector, okay? So just, you know, for the fifth time, just to get this straight, if you have a return style fuel system and you're only getting, you know, with the vacuum line hooked to your regulator, you're only getting, you know, 40 to 50 uh, PSI of, uh, of uh, fuel pressure at idle, there is nothing wrong with your fuel pressure. That's perfectly normal. Um, if you have a return style system or a returnless style system, and you're only getting, you know, 40 or 50, uh, 50 pounds at idle, then you've got a problem, okay? Okay, guys, so now that we've got that out of the way, uh, just a little disclaimer here. This video is not intended to piss anybody off, okay? If you're one of those guys that, you know, that get on here and tell people, no, man, it's got to have 58 PSI, I'm not trying to piss you off. I'm trying to educate you, okay? So... Now you know <laughs> there is a difference and it does depend on fuel systems. Now I wanted to take this one step further and look up the specs uh, so if you are checking your fuel pressure uh, you'll know what to do okay. Now the flex fuel engines use a different fuel pressure regulator as I mentioned earlier and they run at a lower fuel pressure overall. So what you want to do is uh, Disconnect your, uh, you know, with the with the engine at idle. Um, you know, you've got your you've got your pressure gauge plugged into your 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 port over there, your pressure relief port. Um, disconnect the vacuum line that goes to your uh, fuel pressure regulator if you are running a return style system, whether it be flex fuel or non flex fuel. Disconnect that line, plug it, uh, you know, because it's going to create a vacuum leak when you disconnect it. So uh, just uh, plug it with a screw or, or something like that or you can you can just hold your thumb over it okay and here's the specs you're looking for guys uh, on a non-flex fuel engine with the vacuum line disconnected okay um, no wait a second yeah with the vacuum line disconnected on a non-flex fuel return style fuel system on an LS engine you're looking for 55 to 62 psi okay um, if you have a flex fuel engine, now this is 2004 and earlier. This isn't the new style flex fuel systems. I'm pretty sure they, they run at 58 PSI. But the older flex fuels, again, with the nipple disconnected, the vacuum disconnected from your fuel pressure regulator, you should have between 48 and 54 PSI. And then of course with a return style system there's no fuel pressure regulator that's vacuum actuated and it's just like you know the first the return style the the uh, fuel pressure should be between 55 and 62 psi okay all right fantastic so now that we've got that cleared up uh, hopefully this video is going to keep some people from spending a lot of unnecessary money on parts okay um, now this video is not you know about diagnosing actual fuel pressure problems uh, I may make another video on that later the whole purpose of this video is just to help you understand what your fuel pressure should be depending on what type of uh, fuel system you're using on your LS engine so again hope this helped you out if it did uh, share it this is definitely one of those share videos because I'm seeing this post a lot so you know if this video helped you out share it uh, click the little thumbs up like button uh, if you want to see more of these videos, subscribe, and I will see you next time on Bad Luck Garage.